Hi, this is Joe Alexander with J Alexander Roofing. I'm here on 537 Canterbury. I believe that's house number. Um, I'm up here today performing a video inspection of the roof. Um, I'm going to look at the entire roof over. I'm going to start with this flat roof. This flat roof's in pretty bad shape. A, the material itself, there's many indicators on it, just from being a professional roofer, that it is getting old. But then I have some, some major structural concerns as well. And I guess maybe not so much structural as just the decking underneath there. I can really feel this giving way underneath me. I can feel some cracking. So... When we're talking about replacing this roof up here, which I am going to fully recommend, um, we're not only getting to the roofing part of it, we're getting into a decking as well. I think there's multiple layers on here, which that's fine. T uh, Duralast is a, a reinforced product, which is meant to go over existing layers. So we're probably looking at maybe some rolled roofing underneath here, and then maybe um, maybe a layer of uh, ISO board or something like that too to make it, make it plain out. But we've had leaks. These leaks have been here for a while. And this is going to need to be replaced. It's going to be a huge problem for somebody in the future. And then let's move to the shingle section of it. Um, it's not as bad as the, uh, the flat part, but I'm going to show you some things that really indicate shingle failure. So if you look at this, and hopefully my phone's going to illustrate it, get out of the shadow, we really got some granular erosion. And as I zoom in here, when you see all that white stuff coming through there, that's the shingles cry for help. So what that is, is the fiberglass mat. The fiberglass mat is like the bones of the shingle. So that gives it the structure and, and the uh, the integrity and the memory and all that kind of stuff so it doesn't slide off your roof. On top of that is the asphalt product, the tar or the glue, and then the shingle stones, which you see the, see the shingle stones here. They're still pretty intact. But when I start zooming in, you know, and once again, hopefully my phone's gonna illustrate all this. We're, we're bald in a lot of these areas. So this is beginning stage. Actually, you're past the beginning stage of failure. You're at shingle failure with the, with this roof. The granules have eroded. They're in your gutter, in the downspout, whatever. And then this whole thing right here needs to be done ASAP because there's no way that that's holding water out. So water's probably wicking both ways and driving back under here. That's probably why we have so many leaks back there. So now this is starting to compound. I'm basically going to recommend full replacement of this roof because the flat section for sure needs to be redone. Um, the chimney cap's in really bad shape. A little more sound over here. I can walk. It's all cracked up. If this doesn't get addressed, it's just gonna, this, this chimney's gonna quickly deteriorate and that's what happens down here. So water gets in between the bricks and the winter it freezes and it pops it or delaminates like that. So I throw it out with that and then just look at the entire backside of this roof. I'm sure in areas, my phone's illustrating all the white substance you can kind of see through there. That's the fiberglass mat. That means the shingle is starting to fail or it's in, it's in a state of failure right now. So basically I'm gonna recommend a full, full replacement. I'm gonna start pulling some measurements. Uh, probably get an eagle view drawn on this thing, and then I'll give you my assessment and my estimate. Joe with Jalos in the roofing, performing a video inspection. That should pretty much do it. Thanks.